What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to Fuzzy Motion Plays The Binding of Isaac. Today is a random day. So let's hit that, get Judas, and tear through this shit. Alright, Tinted Rock. That is on our list of things to access. We do start with the Book of Belial, and I'm a big fan of the Book of Belial. I think it's a great item. Uh, most times I don't get a chance to take it or use it because, uh, you know, we're rolling with the D6. Oh, and this is perfect. We'll just throw this bomb down right here and get ourselves some survivability. And as well as uh, some bombs to go along with that. Um, you know, one of the big problems with uh, Judas is kind of glass cannony character. You know, he's very powerful, but could die at any moment. And you have to protect that. So the uh, Tinted Rock is a welcome addition to what we were doing there. Found ourselves five cents, brings us up to eight cents overall. So we have a chance to, if we come across a, a possible location for the secret room, we might be able to access the shop. Oh, don't get hit by that. Um, and a justice card is fantastic. We'll just go ahead and take all these lovely things. Um, 13 cents brings us two cents away from going to the shop. Hopefully by shooting some of this poop, we'll be able to access those, uh, those uh, transient two cents. There's one of them. And one more. And we're going to the shop, baby. There we go. We got ourselves a nickel. So we're actually uh, doing pretty good so far as uh, consumables go in the early game here. And I'm pretty happy about that. Let's see what's in our item room. Uh, it's able. Not a great item, but you know what? In a run like this, you don't pass that sort of thing up. So we'll take able. I wonder if Book of Belial affects able as well as Judas's tears. Good question. Alright, let's head on down to the shop and see what's in it. We're guaranteed that it's not greed. It's the Book of Rev. Um, I'm tempted to pick it up. Let me just see if this is the uh, secret room to the right here. If it is, then I'll definitely pick that up. As long as that's not... Okay, good. I was going to say, as long as it's not a uh, fortune teller or a slot machine... Then we'll be able to pick up Book of Rev. Kind of guilt-free because, like I said, survivability is one big thing when it comes to um, Judas. And I don't want this run ending prematurely. So basically I paid 15 cents for a spirit heart, you might say. But we're guaranteeing ourselves a, a cube of meat by uh, taking that Book of Revelations. And then also if we come across the library at some point, we'll be able to churn through some of the uh, the... Um, pool associated with the library a little bit faster. Who knows? Uh, we're fighting against the Headless Horseman. Normally this is a pain in the ass fight. Uh, it's still a pain in the ass fight. I just... Going to pop Book of Rev, uh, Book of Belial, and hope that this goes a little bit faster than normal. Oh, God. Why is he coming from that direction? Shoot a couple more tears his way. Abel, do something. Come on. Do something, Abel. Okay, got rid of the head. Now it's time to get rid of the horse. Can't get a book of, uh... I can't get a book of anything right now. Can't get a deal with the devil. We'll pick up the pony and just put it back down. It would be interesting to ride with the pony, but I think uh, Book of Belial is better served for our purposes. Uh, that curse room is interesting. I want to go into it so, so bad. If we had the pony, I might have uh, walked in with much less of a problem, but... Uh, because health is such an issue, I'm not going to tempt fate. Uh, we'll walk into this uh, item room shortly and see what's in it. If we find ourselves another key, then we'll definitely go into the shop as well. Uh, that's a bomb. I was hoping for a key to drop. It didn't. Another scent, though. Oh, I'm really tempted to just walk. Oh, I'm really tempted. Let me just let me walk throughout the rest of this floor and just see if I can't come up with that extra scent. Because if we do, I think it, we're better suited to walk into the uh, the shop. We kind of already have an active item we want, and at this point, getting passives is the only thing we can get out of that uh, that item room. And we're almost guaranteed to come across more item rooms. Well, we're guaranteed to come across more item rooms in the future regardless. I'm just saying we're guaranteed that this won't have greed in it. There goes that scent, so we're going to the shop, baby. Um, let's go ahead and just fight the boss while we're here. And Cancer... It's a fantastic pickup. This is going to make us uh, shoot our tears a little bit faster. Go ahead and see what's inside here. This is Gemini and another Tinted Rock. So we'll throw that down next to the Tinted Rock and pop that open to get ourselves a key. So we'll be able to access both of the rooms of interest 
on this floor. No problems, no questions asked. A little harrowing for a moment there. I didn't know if we'd be able to do both. We might have to make a tough decision, which is what Isaac is all about. Tough decisions. Should I stay or should I go? Should I go to the prom? Should I ask Billie Jean, Sue, Bob? Well, I don't know. I lost that whole joke once I went to, through prom here. A speed upgrade is something we'll pick up and just say, well, we have it. Um, Brother Bobby and Demon Baby are not worth our available HP. I was going to say if we get uh, a one heart pack deal, then that might be worth it. Even then, it's kind of uh, risky. It's really risky. Actually, we'll see what's in the shop. And we'll make some decisions. Compass, which is fantastic. We'll pick that up. No questions asked. If we can come across some more money, I'm definitely coming back for that spirit heart and the key. Um, Ipecac. Oh, Ipecac. Uh, every time I take Ipecac, I end up dying. Oh, man, this might be tough. Well, we know that there's a, an arcade on this floor. And it might be worthwhile to check and see if... Nope, obviously that's not the secret room. Might be able to find the top secret room. Nope, not there. Gotta be very careful now with our uh, shot placement. One false move could spell doom for us. Alright, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? No, seriously, where are the shops? Uh, not the shops, the uh, secret rooms and such. Okay, clear out some of this area. Take some shots down here. All right, we've got to find the secret and or top secret room because there could be an eternal heart in there and that could change how everything looks right now. Um, I'm thinking it's down here next to uh, something. Let's see if top secret room, top secret room right there. There's our eternal heart. And I know some of you are thinking, could have played the blood bank. I'm not into it. I think we can find the uh, secret room. Secret room must be right here or here. There it is. Thank goodness. Bob's rotten head is not anything worth crying about. We'll pick it up just so it doesn't show up again. Knowing that we could have bombed our way into the shop is a little upsetting, but you know what? What are we going to do, right? Um, I want to keep my available HP. If for no other reason, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose a good portion of it very shortly with this Ipecac build that we have going on. Let's see. I do have a speed upgrade, so we can get out of the way of things a little bit faster. Um, that golden chest does not appeal to me one bit. Let's head to the right and see if we can't get into our item room. Oh, that was close. Let's go ahead and blow that up. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, it would be nice if some of these flies would just find a way to die quietly. Okay. Abel's doing some work, and actually, Demon Baby would have been great to pick up in a situation like this. Um, I kind of feel like a jackass, uh, but I couldn't have picked it up at the time. I only had one heart, and it cost two. Oh, just carefully shoot your shots in there. See if our secret room's over this way. It isn't. Okay, just don't fire into rocks. That's the only thing you have to keep in mind. Just don't fire into rocks. Okay, that's a troll bomb. I don't want any part of that. Uh, holy water is not something I want to pick up right now. Or ever. It's kind of a waste. So we have a curse room that we could visit. We also have some other uh, rooms possibly of interest that we could find ourselves going to. Um shop is not one of them, but the mob trap room is definitely one of them. So we'll see what uh, what else is on this floor. Okay, just need to not aggro these guys before we're ready. Okay, and there we go. And another top secret room brings us the umbilical cord. Not worth picking up. Let's see what's over this way. Possibly just more bullshit, but another key is not bullshit. That's helpful. So we pick up this key in the hopes that maybe we'll find a good use for it. I'm gonna hold on to it till the next floor. Either that or if I come across another slew of keys, 
Then maybe I'll pop open that uh, golden chest. Wow, you got out of the way of that really quick. And I almost hit the I almost hit the Ipecac bomb on those rocks there. I would have felt very silly doing that. But I just narrowly escaped it, as if the game feels bad for me and my dumb mistakes. Mob Trap Room holds a brown chest, which does have a key in it. And I, oh god, gladly pick that up. Alright, just want to kill some of these maggots without any trouble. Alright. These eyeless ooze guys could be a little bit of a problem. Oh man, a little bit of a problem. Understatement. Wonder how Book of Belial stacks with this explosive damage. If it stacks. Wow, Abel's doing some work. I didn't even notice that. It's really hard when you've got these Ipecac shots. They just kind of launch over. Oh, shit. This might take a little bit longer than I'm accustomed to. Okay, good. And dead ski. Okay, don't get hit by that. That would be most embarrassing. Stationary. Oh, blue pills. See what this does. That's telepills, and that brought us into the shop, interestingly enough. There's a key in the shop that we can purchase for five cents, and I will definitely purchase that. I think that's way more important than the possibility of picking up notch stacks. Um, notch stacks is, for all intents and purposes, a waste of time, and I almost, oh, I almost took dumb damage by way of that, uh, that rock that was in front of where I walked into. I can't access that money, unfortunately. We're just going to have to go downward. Um, I need some money, though. I do need a little bit of money. Just a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl. Just a little bit. Okay, took care of him. Blue baby soul. I don't think it's going to help us, but uh, it's interesting to note that it's here. Uh, let's take care of this and then see if the secret room's there. No, it's not. Secret room up top. It's not. Secret room could be over here. Let's go ahead and check if it's right above us. It's not. Now, well, it could be anywhere now. I don't know. Down here? Nope. Okay. We already checked up here. Is it over here? It's not. Holy shit, where's the secret room? Are you kidding me? Where is this fucking thing? Oh, it, it's probably the back end of the item room. There it is. There's the money that we need so we can get ourselves another key. And it looks like I will be accessing that uh, golden chest. So we'll do that just very shortly. I don't want that. Alright. So now what do we need? Well... Honestly, we need defensive items, because as powerful as I am, and I'm pretty strong, I'm pretty vulnerable at the same time. All right, not a good trade for a key, a bomb, and a, a scent, but that being said, we're still almost up to 15 cents, again, making a shop worthy. Well, the shops haven't been great for us. We did come across the compass. Which makes things a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and see what's in our boss room. Oh, it's the Fallen, so we'll get a free deal with the Devil item. Oh, he's fast. Oh, he's really fast. Okay, slow down, man. Slow down. Thank God we picked up that, uh... I don't think it affects us at all. Alright. Using bombs slows him down a little bit, but not a whole hell of a bunch. Does he not slow down until I hit him? Like, what... Oh, this is annoying. What the hell do I do? <laughs> oh, no. I might have to just tag him. Yep, I think I'm going to. Dude, he won't stop uh, attacking. So I had to take some damage there. He just wouldn't stop following me. And this shit's going to happen again, isn't it? 
Come on, enough! That's stupid. Oh man, I lost all those spirit hearts. Now I don't know how I'm gonna do with the rest of this run. That's upsetting. And we got a shitty devil item out of the whole deal too. Wow, what a shitty way for that to all end up. All right, there goes a spirit heart back, so at least we'll be able to get this working for us. I don't even think Book of Belial's worth it with this build. I think we're better suited for something like, and call me crazy, Mom's Bra. Or Mom's Pad. Or some other item that freezes enemies. Oh, fuck. All right, let's play it cool. And you'll kill them. And he's dead. And the reason I say that is because I don't think the damage is really affected by uh, Book of Belial as much as one might expect. I think we're just better off trying to freeze enemies and keep them from... Uh, it was what I was afraid of. Keep them from attacking us than we are trying to damage them. Because Ipecac kind of has its own mind of things when it comes to uh, damage. Alright, sack of pennies. It's going to help us spawn some pennies as we go through the game. It's not an awesome item, but still. Just wanted to walk in here so I could say I walked in there. I would really like that key. I would really like that key. But unfortunately, I blew up the only two rocks leading to the key. Let's see if we can't find the... Okay. There goes some bombs and some money. Let's see if we can't get inside this item, our devil room, without causing too much of a fuss. Alright, don't get crazy here. Wow, Abel is doing some fucking damage. One tier put one of those guys out. Alright, gonna fight against Peep. Better than having to fight the bloat. Oh shit. I hate Peep. I think he's one of the worst bosses. He's just not my favorite. Or the bloat, for that matter. His bastard cousin. I don't think I want to pick up a range upgrade. I kind of like where the bombs are landing now, and I, 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 you know, I'm used to it. If I get a range upgrade, God only knows how that's going to screw with my aim. So let's head down and see what the rest of the floor has for us. Any HP upgrades would be great. Um, oh, God. Don't get hit by this. Okay. There we go, and we found the secret room. Okay, that was a mistake. Three cents. Is it worth it? Probably not, but still. Comes at no cost to us. Um, that money there is tempting, but I'm going to go ahead and say not worth it. And because we're only rolling on two hearts, I want to say that uh, I'm not feeling too adventurous when it comes to doing some crazy shit. So we'll look for the top secret room. Hopefully find ourselves a, an eternal heart somewhere. I think we pretty much tested that wall, but just in case we didn't. Uh, top secret room wouldn't be there. Let's head down. See what this floor has to offer. Or this room. Okay. Oh, that's right. I can use the bombs to get the uh, pennies out of there. Alright, so we're shopping. We're going shopping. Mainly because we know the shop can't contain greed, because there's a mini-boss fight on the map. That's helpful. I'm not even going to fuck with this fly. There we go, much longer. Hold on, I want this money, though. There we go. I was just about to say, I'm not going to fuck with this fly any longer. But we'll fuck with Gluttony, because Gluttony might give us the heart. Or two spirit hearts, which I will gladly take off of them. Whew! So that makes this breathe a little bit better. Sleep a little bit better. Alright, let's not take damage to this guy. Another penny. Let's head down. I'm wondering where... Oh, I didn't want to blow that up. I'm wondering where the shop is. It looks like it's down beneath us. And I don't know if we know what this pill does. Probably not. It's not telebills. Telebills. Telepills. It's just puberty. So, whatever. Alright. Access all these bombs. Not that it's super important, but it is kind of important. 
Let's go ahead and see what's over here. Entrance to the shop. Take care of this human popcorn. And now these two guys. Don't be a dick. There we go. More money and bombs. Don't mind if I do. The ladder. Interesting choice. Um, I think in our current setup, we should take the ladder. In case we don't come across a, a flying item. Ladder is going to help us get across some chasms. Get away from enemies that we don't want to be next to. You know what I mean? So I, I think it's a good, a good pickup. We'll play this down to half a heart, and we'll pick up a HP upgrade by the blood bag. Fantastic. I was planning on just uh, rolling with whatever HP that we could find on the ground, but I will definitely take um, a two-heart HP upgrade. No problems there. Okay, more money, keys, and bombs. I'm a fan. Let's see what's in our mob trap room. A brown chest with just some money. Uh, these guys aren't that bad. Just try, need to try to not get cornered. It should be all right. Human popcorn. Don't spawn any more flies, bud. Oh, almost took that one on the chin. Wow, how'd you live that? How'd you live through that? Okay, you're dead, and so are you. Or not. How is that possible? It's not registering as hitting him. Got ourselves another spirit heart. So, life is very fragile. Please don't make any mistake of that, but we're, we're slowly building up a reserve, and I do want to find this top secret room. Uh, I think that if we can find an eternal heart and get up to four health, we can possibly start to separate ourselves from the winners and losers in this possible... Uh, oh, we can do that. That's right. In this possible uh, way things shake up. Let's just check the four walls in here. I was... You thought I was just going to throw the bomb against the wall, didn't you? <laughs> I know better. I know better. Alright, trying to think of where else this could be. Could be down. <clears throat> right? Like, if we go all the way down... <clears throat> and bomb that south wall... Might be down there. It's not. Is it, uh... Is it here? It's not. What about down here? I don't even think uh, rooms can spawn down this far. No, they can't. They don't look like they can, at least. No. Oh, there it is. It's a fortune teller. Well, with 15 cents, I don't feel like playing it. An extra bomb and a spirit heart are worth the effort of finding this top secret room. So we'll walk out of here a little bit stronger, a little bit faster. I'm not taking the range upgrade, unfortunately. And, uh... Yeah, we got, we got a good stack of uh, consumables our way, so I would prefer taking a different spacebar item at this point. It's because, like I said, I don't think that the Book of Belial really has any impact on our damage. Any noticeable impact, let's just say. If we're one-shotting enemies now, we're going to be one-shotting with Book of Belial, so really not, uh, not impactful. Oh god, oh god, oh god, don't take damage to these guys. Okay. I think the uh, green bombs that this guy shoots out are way more effective than the ones I do. Oh god. Almost got hit by that. I almost got hit by that. Wow. How he dodged that. I shall never know. This is getting tricky. I know I'm going to have to backtrack through this room. This is why I'm not just walking out the door. This pill, we don't know what it does. It's tears up. Kind of nice. Um, this could be a pain in the ass, but won't be. Alright, don't... Okay, get out of here. Don't you get greedy. Just walk out. Don't get stuck on the wall or any silly stuff like that. Okay. This guy is just about dead. Let's go ahead and shoot the golden poop. Really? Takes that much? Never would have thought. Okay, counterfeit penny is interesting. I don't think our fire rate is that far affected that we need to worry about it, but counterfeit penny was, is going to help us uh, <clears throat> up our reserve of pennies and money. I think we hold on to this. Because cancer, we're not, we're not firing tears. 
so, you know, our fire rate's kind of a moot point. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. Some bombs. So I might have thought that uh, foregoing this fight altogether is the better choice, and you're not wrong. I just felt like fighting. Okay. These guys don't hop in the ceiling, so I don't need to worry about that. Just need to worry about hitting them. Okay. Zombies. Took care of the fast one. Another spirit heart. And right into it. Nice. <clears throat> if we can find a way to get the miter or the relic, I think we'll be, we'll be sitting pretty. Because right now, the only thing that's uh, making me nervous is our HP standpoint. I mean, it's okay. Don't get me wrong. You know, we're not about to die at any moment, but uh, with all these spirit hearts, I would like a couple more red hearts. <clears throat> Let's go and see what's in our shop. It's greed, of course. Okay. Pick up a tarot card. What is this tarot card? Judgment. So I'm going to hold on to this and see if we can't get a deal with the devil, and then I'll pop it in there. <clears throat> I apologize for my <clears throat> hoarseness in my throat. I don't know, man. Sometimes you just start going, and then all of a sudden, okay, I got stuck against the wall. Start going, and then you realize, oh my god, it sounds like I ate a frog. Almost. And now dead. Let's see if this if we can't access this wonderful uh, penny here. Okay. Don't die to these fucking wastes of life. Whoa, that was the best bomb ever. Okay, shoot this blast assist, and then we're going to very carefully take care of that one. Uh, what does this card do? The moon takes us to the item room? It does, right? Let's go to the item room. Or the secret room. I totally forgot about that because, you know, secret room's dark, so is the moon. But, uh, okay, whatever. No big deal. Forget things like that from time to time. Totally thought we were going to the item room. Whatever. Um, could try to play that, see if I get another blood bank. Or blood bag, rather, but uh, I think that would be pushing my luck. Probably get a blood bag or an IV bag as a result. Okay, there goes a key. We'll definitely take that key. Fight our boss. Oh, it's the bloat. Oh, the worst. Okay. He's almost dead. Die faster, though. Oh, my God. He's the worst bloat, too. Deal with the angel? Yes, please. So we'll do this. Walk in here. Pick up a damage upgrade. And then we'll play this guy in here. See if we can't get another angel item, which was just an HP upgrade. I'll take the extra HP upgrade, though. So we're doing shit tons of damage. I think what we would want right now... and I totally overlooked... Not to overlook the fact that that uh, HP upgrade came at one cent. That was uh, pretty clutch, too. Abel is doing some serious damage, though. He just took one shot at uh, that Headless Horseman. And he was almost at uh, half health. The Rosary is a fine item right now. What that's going to do is give us two... Uh, available spirit hearts uh, it will make the Bible show up in the shop three available spirit hearts my bad but uh, I'm not looking at the shop too much longer as something we need to uh, concern ourselves with only because you know shops gonna have greed in it probably from now on let's play this a little bit okay get some money counterfeit pennies doing its job Take this. Play this down to a half a heart. There goes another blood bag. So we're super fast now. Need to be careful, though, because our tears, or bombs, I guess you could call them, could backfire and hurt us. 
Um, there goes a room we can't access, unfortunately. Uh, gonna go ahead and shoot the shit out of Chubb. Come on, bud. Work with me. Just die. I like the way you die, boy. Alright, don't do this thing where you try to become a hero. Super annoying, and nobody wants to see it. Okay. He's dead. And you will die as well. You will die a thousand deaths. Small rock. Okay. The reason I'm taking small rock, obviously because of the damage benefits that it incurs, or it infers, but also because of the damage, or the speed downgrade that it has associated with it. Not to say that we're too fast. We're not. We're just a little faster than I would feel comfortable with. Okay, that was my mistake. I walked right into that, and that was one of the best golden chests I think I've ever opened. One key for two keys and three bombs. Great value. Okay, just don't get hit any more than you probably would. Take care of that guy in the back, and then worry about these two. They're dead. There goes another nickel. Um, I think that we need to walk in here, because we haven't done so for pretty much the entirety of the game. This pill, we don't know what it does. Friends to the end, that's fine. Let's go ahead and see what's over here. Alright, no, don't get hit. There's another pill. Which I think we still don't know what that one does. I thought that guy was coming down here. Wow, do you see me rocket that, that shot across the map? Bombs are key. That's helpful. So now we have 23 available bombs. And with uh, Ipecac, I'm really not worried about explosive potential. We're going to be blowing the shit up out of everything. Oh, there we go. And there's that. Got ourselves a key. Mom's contact. This showed up in the last run. Mom's contact's going to help us shoot uh, some tears out the back of our heads. So I'll pick it up. I don't know if it if it's tears. Yeah, it's a tear. I was going to say if it's a tear or if it's a uh, another bomb. That would be a little haphazard if you ask me. I uh, didn't start to check for our secret room either. Let me just do one of these. Just to double check. It's not there. Might be to the left here. Let's just stand back. Not here. Would have been really cool if it were there. I might have been able to bomb my way into the uh, mob trap room or the boss trap room, but uh, unfortunately, that's not the way the cookie crumbles. Can we please? There we go. And you're dead. So we picked up another bomb, walk up here, shoot these guys hopefully from a distance. Okay, at least that one. He's dead, and this one's going to die too. Woo! All right, more keys, more bombs, more money. All good things. Um, uh, no. Just no. No, no need. No. Don't overcomplicate things. Wow. Wanted to open up the middle of the floor. This motherfucker doesn't stop jumping around. How did that miss? Hit him in midair, though. I feel good about that last shot. Okay. Need to get some distance between me and these fucking flies, man. Because if not, I'm going to be eating damage for no reason. Oh, God. Come on. Okay. How did that not kill him? I am eating way too much damage. Uh, and this is kind of the drawback of using Ipecac, is that enemies like this can, can kind of ruin your day. To the point where, you know, it'll turn you into a mere mortal. I would love to pick up Mom's Knife, Brimstone, because the damage that we have right now is staggering. Um, sure, let's play this twice. We might have screwed ourselves out of a deal with the devil, but we really can't even check for one because we don't have a way to teleport out of the uh, mom fight. Okay, got rid of that guy. Let's see what's over here. Not even, I don't even care. Let's go ahead and beat the shit out of mom, shall we? It's just regular old vanilla mom. So hopefully this won't be too much of a problem. Oh. I was a little nervous there. 
I was hoping the foot would kill it, and it did. Oh, that was a little bit too far. There we go, foot. Thank you very much. Those cankles are well worth it. Pick up the Polaroid, and the only reason I'm getting the 8-Ball right now is for the benefit of the tarot card. The Hanged Man, not entirely great, but at least we'll be able to use it for one room. Um, so our boss room is probably down beneath us. I'm gonna go ahead and try to access that. Can we just bomb our way through? I don't even feel like fighting anybody. Here we go. Okay, apparently this is not how to get to our boss room. But it is how to get to a mob trap room, which I'm interested in seeing what's inside. Uh, let's see. There's a heart, so going into the secret room, or that uh, curse room, won't be that much of a big deal. Larry Jr.'s two of them, three of them, one of them, dead of them. Chubb. Can be a problem if left unchecked. Okay. One more. Oh, another more. There we go. What? He, he lived that? He lived through that? I can't even speak. I'm so flabbergasted. He lived through that? Like, he took that right on the chin. Oh, I didn't know. I totally forgot. I thought we were done. Took some damage. Maybe I could hit both of them at the same time. That'd be awesome. I think the knockback is making my explosives that much more powerful because they're getting thrown around the room. Okay, one's dead. I would have thought you would have died. Nope, not quite. Out we go. All right, let's see what's in this curse room, though. Hanging man, teleports, and now we have the Bible. Um, the Bible is not better than the book of Belial. It's just, it's, it's just not, but, okay, open, god damn it, down we go, all right, we'll go ahead and fight this fistula then, let's just keep firing some shots in here, Try not to die, huh? Oh man, this is this is nerve-wracking because like I said, we're still very vulnerable as 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 strong as we are and how how powerful we are. Oh my god, the bloat again? This game fucking hates me. I think that's bullshit when the game makes you fight enemies or bosses rather more than once, especially in this situation. Like, uh, there's no reason to do that. Other than to force me to take damage. Because you know I'm not flying. And you know the creep's going to hurt me. Okay, I will not lose to this subpar foe. Uh, never mind, I will lose to the subpar foe. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed the run up to now. Ipecac's an interesting item, it's cool. Sometimes it works, sometimes it just doesn't, you know? Uh, I just couldn't keep myself from taking really shitty damage, which brings our two win streak to an end, unfortunately. If you like the video, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and also share on your favorite social media platform. As always, YouTube, it's been Fuzzy Motion, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.